Hi, and welcome to another course in MicroStrategy's Mobile App Developer Academy. This course is entitled Conditional Formatting. Conditional formatting enables you to change how elements of your documents display depending on conditions you specify. You can use conditional formatting to draw attention to important textual data or selectively hide images and make your documents more dynamic. This video will present the steps necessary to apply conditional formatting to a document in a mobile app. After watching this video, you should be able to use conditional formatting to modify the display of text and images based on conditions. You will need MicroStrategy Web and an iPad with MicroStrategy Mobile. So let's begin. Here is what the sample document looks like before we add conditional formatting. The user can filter the data by region and call center using selectors. There's a lot of information in the key performance indicator panel, and it would be beneficial if we could draw the user's attention to the most important information. And here's the same document after we've added conditional formatting. So how do we accomplish this? Well, I will begin with opening the document in MicroStrategy Web in design mode. I'll start by adding conditional formatting to dynamic text in a panel. Right-click the text, point to conditional formatting, and select Advanced. I'll choose which metric to use for the qualification and then enter the details for the qualification. The conditional formatting will be applied to the text box when the percentage difference between revenue and target revenue is between negative 1% and 0. The next step is to define the formatting I want to apply to the text box when the qualification is met. A negative percentage difference between actual and target revenue is bad, so I want data in this range to display with a red font color. To do this, I click Formatting, select Red, and click OK. I also want to format the text to indicate when the percentage difference between actual and target revenue is within the expected range. This means that I need to add another qualification. To do this, I click the new icon on the top left of the window and enter in the details. This qualification will apply when the percentage difference is positive and within a small range of the projected value. I will indicate this status using a simple black dot. Again, I click Formatting, and this time I select Replace Data and select Quick Symbol. There are a range of symbols to choose from, and each can be given a color and size. I have skipped ahead and added two more qualifications. When the percentage difference between actual revenue and target revenue is less than negative 1%, that's something that may require further investigation. I'm going to add formatting that indicates exactly that. I select the Replace Data checkbox and this time use the Replace Text option. I'll type Investigate and use bold red text. Finally, I want to use conditional formatting to indicate that a value greater than positive 1% is good. This final condition corresponds to good news since this means that actual revenue has exceeded the target by more than 1%. I'll format this data to display in blue. You have seen me create conditional formatting for the dynamic text for the percentage difference between revenue and target revenue. I have created very similar conditional formatting for the dynamic text in these two boxes. The only difference is in the metric used for the qualifications. Here's what the conditional formatting looks like on the iPad. You can see that it is much easier to understand the significance of the key performance indicators. In addition to text boxes, you can also apply conditional formatting to images. This feature opens up a number of creative possibilities. I'll demonstrate how you can use conditional formatting to create an interactive US map. In this document, users can click the name of a region to display the corresponding call centers on a map. Here's how you can create the effect in MicroStrategy Web in design mode. 
The panel stack that contains the US map is targeted by the region selector. This enables you to add conditional formatting to the images and text based on the region attribute. The image we're using for the US map is cleverly designed. Let's take a look. As you can see, the US map image contains gray bubbles corresponding to the positions of each call center. We've placed an image of an illuminated green light on top of each of the gray bubbles. By selectively showing or hiding each of the lights, we create the effect of turning lights on or off depending on the region the user selects. To add conditional formatting to an image, right-click it, point to conditional formatting, and select Advanced. Add formatting based on the selected region not containing the call center. I'm choosing not in list because I want to hide the light bulb when the northwest region is not selected. Then I click formatting and select hide image. Now I'll hide the text box used to label the call center. To use conditional formatting to hide text, click Formatting, select Replace Data, and use the Hide option. Now I'll repeat the process for every other light bulb and call center label. For example, I'll apply conditional formatting to the Salt Lake City label in order to hide the text when Southwest is not the selected region. Conditional formatting can also be useful when you're dealing with missing or incomplete data. By default, null values don't display in documents. For example, suppose there is no unit sold data for Seattle. As you can see, there's just an empty space where we would expect a metric value. Sometimes an empty space is fine, but you may want to add more formatting to indicate that data is missing. In MicroStrategy Web, in Design Mode, I'll right-click the text point to conditional formatting, and select Advanced. I'll add a new qualification, and for the condition, select Is Null. I will replace null values with the words No Data and use a brown italic font style. Now here's the result on the iPad. So far, I've been demonstrating using Advanced Conditional Formatting Editor. There is another tool, the Visual Conditional Formatting Editor, that can be more convenient when you are applying formatting based on simple conditions. In the Visual Editor, you can drag the handles to specify the ranges to which you want to apply conditional formatting. You can mouse over the line to display options for adding, editing, and deleting formatting rules. However, for more complicated conditional formatting, you will need to use the Advanced Editor. And that's a wrap for this MicroStrategy App Developer Academy course on conditional formatting. <laughs>